Claire from Clarified Creations and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking all about Cracker Barrel's training program as a retail sales associate. Whether you're thinking about applying, already have applied, have the job, or are just a curious person, this video will help you out because it's going to discuss all of the details regarding the training program. Just a little disclaimer before we get into the video, I do live in the state of Tennessee. Depending on your location and your management, your experience might be slightly different from mine. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get on to it. My training was divided up into three different shifts on three different days for about three hours each. Now yours might look a little bit different depending on your manager, but my manager wanted to make sure that you know I was comfortable enough to spend about three hours. That way you can kind of ease into the process and not be thrown in in the deep end trying to figure out everything for about an eight hour shift. I can imagine that probably wouldn't be so fun. The first thing I want to talk about is to ease your guys' minds, you will have a designated trainee to kind of guide you through the process throughout the entire training experience. I did not have the same trainee all three days because my shifts were at different times. My first shift was about from 8 to 11, my second shift was around 3 to 6, and then my third shift was 4 to 7. So you can see the times varied and you know, you may or may not have the same trainer all three days. It could be different, so don't worry about that, they're still going to train you. I can say for sure you will not be left alone throughout your entire training experience so don't worry about that either. Cracker Barrel does a really good job of making sure that you're adequately prepared so you can face the world. Cracker Barrel has three modules for the retail sales position when you're training and that is module one is meet and greet, module two is show and share, and finally module three is ask and invite back. Now I'm sure you can probably guess what the modules are going to be about just based on their title. Even I could kind of have a sense of what I was going into, but other than that, you really don't know much else. On the first day of training, go right into the retail store. It's the first thing you see when you walk in, so you really can't miss it. Go up to the cash register and there should be someone working at it. And if you're not sure about how to clock in, but just in case they didn't, ask the cashier, ask any of the employees. I'm sure they would be happy to help you. What I did was I went up to the first cash register and I clocked in. You know, you got to use your card and swipe it. A pro tip here is if you guys are going to be early, I would highly recommend waiting in your car or waiting somewhere else. That way you don't have to stand around for a bunch of awkward minutes because the system will not let you clock in until 58 of your shift or two minutes before your shift. For instance, if you have a shift at 3 p.m., you cannot clock in until 2.58. I didn't know this on my first day and I tried clocking in about five minutes early and I kept getting an error message and I was so concerned. I was like, why am I not doing this right? Is there something wrong with me or the machine? Turns out it is the machines. They will not let you clock in early. The next thing you're gonna need for your shift is an apron. Some people will get this at orientation, but if you didn't, you can just ask for an apron and they will give it to you. It'll say rising stars because as we all know, we got to start somewhere and we are going to be rising stars for the first 30 days before you can get your first star. You also should get your name tag, but unfortunately my store ran out of name tags, so I guess my name is rising star. After you finish clocking in and kind of introducing yourself to your trainee, your trainee will take over from there and kind of guide you through throughout the entire process. The first thing you're gonna do is she's gonna give you some videos you need to watch. These videos will most likely be on a little iPad on a cart. Basically what you'll do is watch about six videos talking about, you know, meet and greet. So the videos will talk about what meet and greet is and let me give you a hint. It's basically what it sounds like. You meet people, you go up to the person, and you greet people. Say hello, how are you? That's basically all there is to meet and greet. Nevertheless, they want you to watch the videos. Each video is around one to two and a half minutes long. I think the longest was about 2.52, the shortest was 35 seconds. So the videos are super quick, but after you're done watching the video, your trainer will ask you a couple questions about that video. So make sure you guys are paying attention. You know, it's no worries if you can't get the answer right, but usually they're pretty straightforward, simple questions. So if you watch it and you pay attention, you should be fine. After you're finally done watching all the videos, either your manager or your employee trainer will help you out next. It kind of just depends on how busy your manager 
manager is and what they're doing at that given moment. For me, I mostly watched my trainer's transactions on the cash register. I didn't have to run the cash register or anything like that. Your first day, you probably won't do that because that is a bit of a more complex task. I'm still getting the hang of it and it's been two weeks now and it's daunting. Let me tell you, there's so many buttons. Then you'll kind of put some of the skills you learn to test. After all that, you're going to learn a few additional skills and some of them include board folding. There's a specific way you fold clothes in retail and you have a little board. That's why it's called a board folding method. You put your shirt on a little cart, you put the board inside, then you follow the instructions based on what you watched in the video and it is super helpful. Some other things my trainer showed me were where all the stock things were located and then she also gave me a run through of the entire store so I got to take a little tour which was pretty cool. She showed me all the displays, told me what the names were, what was on sale, what wasn't on sale. Then she showed me how to check the bathrooms and how to keep things clean because you know with the whole coronavirus you have to make sure you're keeping everything nice and clean so they have additional safety measures in place and she showed me that. To sum it up, the first day was a bunch of information that was thrown at you all at once, but it's okay. You will have some time to process that. Next, we're going to move on to module two, which is show and share. Show and share is kind of like meet and greet where you show and you share. Show and share. As you can probably guess, there's more iPad videos. There's about six videos and we went through the same procedure where the trainer asked me questions about each video. After that, she kind of did a lot more of showing around the store, making sure I knew some of the helpful tips she had to pass on to me. Then I had some time with my manager and she showed me a few things as well. My main task for that day was to show and share items, which was kind of a daunting task for me because I am not the most outgoing. I like to kind of be in, I'm often perceived as shy because I don't really love going up to people and talking to people that I don't know. That was something I learned very quickly that I needed to work on in order to be successful at retail. You can't be afraid of approaching customers and asking them if they need help. And on your second day, it is extremely worrying when you have absolutely no knowledge and you're supposed to share your knowledge about a product because that's what show and share is. My task was to walk around the sales floor for the last two hours and interact with guests. Now it got better over time. There were a few rough patches where one lady asked me where something was. I was like, I have absolutely no idea. Of course I didn't say that, but I was like, hmm, let me check on that for you. And by the time I got back, she was gone. Not a good thing to do. Finally, on the third day, you're kind of a little bit more used to the process and you should get the hang of how things run. Luckily, day three was the last day of all the iPad videos and there was about five videos. Then your trainer asks you the questions. It's the same process. But after all those videos are watched, you feel very happy because you know, some of those videos were kind of cheesy. And after that, I got to shadow the register and and I even got to complete some transactions, which was kind of surprising. And it was a bumpy ride at first, but you know, everything gets better with practice. Either during or after module three, you'll begin to start to learn the register. The most important thing to remember when you're running the register is you're still learning and don't be too hard on yourself if you can't remember everything at once. My trainer was there with me the entire time, so she was walking me through every single transaction. And if I needed help, she was right there. She never left my sight, which was a very good thing. I didn't even get my earpiece or my radio until two days ago, which I was supposed to get a little bit earlier. Everything is going to be gradual. You're going to learn a little bit each day, and every day you get through it, you're going to feel a lot more confident. You guys have got this. My biggest advice for you is to smile and be friendly under your mask. Going the extra mile and helping out people like you would genuinely help out a friend is very important in the craft barrel business because you know number one thing is southern hospitality you've got to have that southern hospitality deeply rooted in you in order to be successful which is something that I am still working on but I think I've gotten a lot better over the past two weeks anyways I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful bye